company Always on the run A destiny Oh, it's the rising sun What's up everybody, this is Speco and today I got you some Battlefield Bad Company 2 uh, multiplayer gameplay. Um, I s every time I play this, I hadn't played it in a while, but every time I play this, I snipe. I mean, a lot of people complain and say, oh, if you snipe, you're a noob. Well, I don't I don't freaking care. Uh, I, like I said before, I freaking, I, I've, I've developed a real hate for the word noob. Uh, back whenever I started playing multiplayer games online uh, quite a bit, which was probably probably 10 years, a uh, little, little under 10 years ago, or maybe, yeah, maybe nine years ago I started playing and actually talking to people. Uh, 10 years ago I started playing. I played uh, old PC games where you didn't even really talk. You could uh, type to each other, and it really wasn't that big a deal at the time as far as playing online. Well, for me anyways. Uh, but it seems like the community uh, as a not really as a whole, but a, a good majority of the community has really gone down the drain. Uh, the whole idea of playing online uh, with other people was what I, from what I remember, um, what I've told. It's more of a uh, it's to have more fun with the game by playing with other people and not having to hook them up hardwired with the two TVs in the same room, stuff like that. It's uh, meant to just be more fun, uh, but it's kind of seemed like it's uh, a lot of people take it to uh, it's to where they can talk crap to somebody without having to be in their face, <laughs> and uh, that's their that's their little out in life or whatever bad's going on with them, and it really uh really gets on my nerves. But uh, y'all probably seen in my other videos, I, I use the mute quite a bit. Uh, I enforce the mute. <laughs> I, I don't like to listen to it because I mean everybody wants to have fun with this game, but there, like I said, there's a few people that play this that, not just this game, but it seems like all games for it, they've got kind of the uh, short man syndrome, you know. Uh, everybody they come across uh, just just got a trash talk. That's just some people like get off on that. Uh, <laughs> that that kind of sounded wrong, but you you get what I mean. I mean. This is meant to have fun, and people just try to ruin it for other people. Uh, my thing is, is I know I've talked to a couple people that uh, had uh, real bad experiences with playing online, so they don't play anymore. I have friends that uh, I have friends that have kids that are around the age range of nine and ten, and he he and they just don't let them play online. They they just won't, not because of the game content. But because of the people on there, you can't. The only way, me, if I had a kid that was of the age of playing games uh, like this, in my opinion, it's everybody's. Uh, everybody's got the way of thinking of things. Some people may think, oh, it's got an M rate, so it's kids shouldn't be playing it. But at the same time, there's really nothing in here that you won't. See. With my opinion, there's nothing in here that you, that you have to that I would shield from a kid. I mean, there's a little bit of blood. I mean, and it's, it's supposed to be a war setting. It's almost, to me, uh, there's a big debate on certain things about how a uh, everybody knows about it, but about how video games affect kids. Uh, my opinion is that it doesn't. To an extent, I mean, unless it's just absolutely horrible, it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna make a kid gonna want to kill somebody. It's, it's just not. It doesn't. None of these games teach you anything about real life uh, combat situations. Uh, just basically none of it, because none of it's realistic. None of it. Uh, um, I mean. And it went from being a content issue to, with me as far as, like, I have little cousins and uh, nieces and nephews um, that I wouldn't be be comfortable with letting them play online simply because some people just are just not 
not monitored the way they should be. And most of these, unfortunately, are kids. Uh, age range usually f from 10 to 10 to 20. That's the people that you'll run across that a lot of times are just straight up douchebags. Um, so uh, the only reason I'm really talking about it is because it's a real issue with me. And I know there's things like uh, Ken Burton has his Keep Everything Nice campaign, which is a great thing. Uh, I'm sure it's made a, a difference. And not a, not an enormous one, but it's made a difference. Um, there's this thing, I really don't, I, I really think that if you get on this game, or any game, and you just, and you just talk crap to people, even if they do suck at the game, if you you, you talk crap to them, you really got issues, and uh, those are issues that that are taken out on basically anybody that is uh, that's a slightest bit different than you. Um, I notice a lot of people they used to a lot as soon as they'd hear me talk, they would break out the oh hey there he Billy George stuff like that, and. Uh, I hate that mess. It doesn't bother me anymore because I just mute. Uh, uh, there's just a lot of hate involved because of there's a there's a it's like the prank calls thing. I mean, people people do the whole prank calls thing just because they don't know who it is. Uh, I'm fine with 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 uh well I'm fine with stuff like that as long as it's for it's just for good good old humor purposes, not uh, anything. Not anything inappropriate. Uh, this is basically the top of the Souls video. Is is my feeling on how uh, if if you are one of those people that talks crap and just calls everybody a noob and an idiot and stuff like that. And I know I'll get comments on this video, just like I have on every video, saying I suck and I need to and just everything trying to relate to me playing this game and and relate it to real life and say I'm a loser and stuff like that well y you have no idea who I am and it's the same with anybody else you run across I don't trust I really don't I don't trust talk anybody when I play when people talk crap to me usually I respond what I respond with is I love you too <laughs> and then mute them <laughs> that's just me I don't I was raised to not to not be like that because I've been a 12 year old kid on the internet and people talking crap to me and it it does it it does bother you when you're that age when you're not a grown man that knows that it doesn't doesn't freaking matter it, it's gonna bother you I'm, most kids are it's gonna it's just gonna have it's gonna be so next time you're talking crap to some little kid I mean just don't do it um uh, I have, I know there's the whole thing. A little kid, a little kid with his voice breaking. It is a little annoying, a little painful to hear most of the times. And they just don't know no better. You gotta, you gotta give them that leeway and just, just try to be cool as much as you can. This is my whole thing with this. This is, this is, this is real important to me, and it's just something I wanted to get across. I know a lot of people won't care, and. It's gonna listen to nothing I say, but maybe there's a few people that might actually listen. Uh, talking crap and trying to make people feel bad for other people's for stuff that makes no sense and it's a video game. Just don't do it, man. <laughs> I know this is kind of a serious commentary, but with a little bit of gameplay in. But it's something I wanted to talk about uh, with my videos. I do. I, I've decided I really would like to talk about things I'm passionate about relating to games. All right, guys. Went 39-10 little bit of gameplay. I'll talk to you later, and please thumbs up if you like.